Oh, Dobbin like you have.
So what up, fam? Hi, mom and dad. Hey, everyone. It is May 1st, and we've been in Timor now for eight months. We've been at our permanent site here in Belkow for six months now, which is a quarter of the way through. So we wanted to give you an update on, like, what our daily lives look like. Monday. Monday, I wake up and we make coffee, we have some breakfast, and now that we live in this new house, I go right next door to the women's group, Petri, to make some peanuts. Uh, we fry peanuts, that normally lasts until around noon, and I come back and just hang out until two-ish, and then I go back over to do the packaging. So packaging is, like, it's amazing how simple things can be. We put them in plastic bags and then melt them over a candle to seal them up. Uh, and then take them to the stores to sell them. So that's what a Monday looks like for me. And then in the evenings, uh, we'll come home, hang out with the kids, as per every single night, <laughs> and eat some dinner and just hang out. So my Monday, uh, I go to the clinic around 8.30 and walk up the hill. And once I get to the clinic, I go around and ask everyone at the clinic, do you need help with anything? Um, is there any activities going on today? And if there are things going on, uh, such as I've helped them with writing reports and then writing grants for different projects, then I'll help them with that. And if they don't have anything to work on, then I usually sit beside my counterpart and try and come up with ideas and brainstorm things that I can help the clinic with in the future. And then, like Kevin said, in the afternoon, come home, have some coffee again. Usually about that time, we start preparing dinner. And then afterwards, we teach the kids English at night. Tuesday. So Tuesday is pretty much the same sort of day for me. I go up to the clinic, um, but most of the time on Tuesdays we have mobile clinics, and so we'll go um, with some of the clinic staff to villages that are really, really far out, um, like really rural areas, and provide health services to them and health medications. Tuesdays for me are probably my busiest day of the week. In the mornings I teach an English class up at the middle school. Uh, it's a seventh grade class. There's 54 students in the class, and which is just loads of fun. And the class goes from 8 a.m. until 10:30. So for two and a half hours, Becca's trying her best to not get dengue again. You can't be outside. Two and a half hours, I like try to wrangle these kids into learning a little bit of English, and then come home and hang out until about four. And when I, that's when I go down the hill to the agricultural training center and teach another English class. Um, to a group of 22, 22 people, they're way like a range of ages from like age 20 to age 47. I think is the oldest student in the class, and that class is from 4 until 5:30. That class is truly just a joy to teach because the students are great and they're older, and we can hang out and all that. And then in the evenings, we come home and play with the kids and teach English here too. Wednesday. Oh, Wednesday is a peanut making day. Uh, but it's normally a little bit slower. Oftentimes Wednesday turns into a laundry day. At some point during our week we have to work in laundry at least twice. Um, Wednesday tends to be one of those days because I'm really close by. I'm just making peanuts and I can come help do laundry. And Becca? So my Wednesday is on my free days from the clinic. So usually I spend it doing laundry in the mornings, dishes in the mornings, uh, sweeping the house, and then I have the rest of the day that I can either spend uh, going to the neighbor's house and just helping out with whatever they might need, um, or developing projects outside of my clinic work, um, such as community health projects. Some of the ones that I'm working on right now are knitting hats for newborns, coming up with a global hand washing day for our whole community. And then I've started brainstorming about doing a podcast with mothers here to share their birth stories. Thursday. Thursday is also a clinic day, so I go up to the clinic at 8.30 until 5 p.m., same thing. Thursdays are mostly free for me until 4 o'clock. I go back to the Agricultural Training Center and teach in that same group of students uh, from 4 until 5.30. But other than 4 until 5.30, Thursday is a free day for me, so I hang out. So if, when we say play with the kids, by the way, we mean like we don't go somewhere to do that. Our house is just constantly filled with kids. Kids zone. <laughs> They're like cycling in and out all day, every evening. We're either riding bikes, we're throwing frisbee, we're playing soccer, we're sighing boy, which is the hammock, or running around with them, or painting pictures, or... Yeah, and they know it when you're home. So like on Thursday, when I'm home all day, they're... Immediately. They're here. Like they're immediately coming over. But um, it's good practice for the future, I guess. 
Yeah, if we can handle 15 children, other than that night we teach. Well, we teach at this every point every night, night except yeah. for Sunday night we teach the kids. Because it's the Lord's Day. Um, but we're, we're working on changing that because it's just too much. Friday! Friday's another free day for me. Um, I don't do peanuts on Friday. I don't teach anything on Friday except for Friday evenings for the kids. And so oftentimes I'll go to, to Balcao, uh, which is, as you've seen in one of the videos, maybe a, between a 30 minute trip and an hour trip to get to the first part of Balcao that we can easily get to. And so I'll get groceries or I'll go to the CDC office. CDC is a, it's an NGO uh, that's locally run in Balcao. So I'll go to the office and see if they need help with anything or attend their meeting. My Fridays, um, I either have off from the clinic or I go to the clinic to help them with their mobile clinic or to give a training. Uh, about once a month, I give a training to the staff members on various topics. And otherwise, I have my Fridays off to also brainstorm or to go into the back crowd to get groceries with Kevin. Saturday. So Saturday, we usually spend, those are our quote unquote off days, even though Peace Corps volunteers 24-7. Um, we either will travel to go see friends in different districts, or uh, we might go to Dili for various reasons, or we will go into Balcao uh, to go to the pool, like Kevin was mentioning, um, or something else, or we just do laundry, which is normally what we do. Do laundry and dishes and clean the entire house and play with the kids all day. Oh, also sometimes on Saturdays I make peanuts. Sunday? Sunday we go to church. Um, mass. Mass. Up the hill is uh, the community's Catholic church and we go there most Sundays and then the whole rest of the day we relax, clean the house, do laundry if we didn't get around to it on Saturday. That's about it. So that's what our work week usually looks like here. And then we wanted to talk just a little bit about some of our goals because we're eight months into our service here and we still have 18 months left. So some of the like goals and objectives we see going forward. For me, um, one just really basic one is to find a way to actually help Fetri, the women's group next door. You know, like lately, or for six months now, I've been an extra set of hands. I've made some great relationships. We're really good friends. I enjoy hanging out with them and helping them make the peanuts. But how can I help them make more money? Like turn, turn what they do into some more revenue. And so we've talked about, you know, trying to find a new product that they can sell or find new ways to market their product or get it into more stores because they sell them in, in stores around, well, mostly just in Belkow. Mm -hmm. Going to begin really focusing in on not just being an extra set of hands for them, but actually trying to figure out how in the world I can help them uh, make more money for themselves. The other thing is to do, um, I teach twice a week at the Ag Center, but I'm only teaching English right now. Uh, they've asked me to also teach an ag class, so I'm really excited about being able to do that and start actually working more in agriculture. Uh, so that's the other big goal of mine is to develop that curriculum and and start teaching a course about agriculture in a different language. And then for me going forward, I think a lot of the next 18 months for me is going to be figuring out how to integrate even more in our community in Tree Loca. I've established some really good relationships here. Um, and see a lot of potential in the leaders here and especially with the kids. Uh, so maybe doing some work with the schools on hand washing programs um, around here and then working closely with the leaders. Uh, and to learn more Waimua, which is the local language. <laughs> That's a Sonia. Okay. Video's done. Kids are about to come take the hand take over the hammock.